This guy was like, good, man, he was good. Never showed his face, but he was always talking about, you know, posting how much he had earned from his sales and how easy it was. This All right, what's going on, y'all? We are back outside. It's your boy, DJ Richie Sky. And, <laughs> you know, I was taking a break from working on this course. So I have this ebook in a day course that I am working on. It's really for people who want to write an ebook and tell their story. It's a pretty much done for you template, but it's also done with you in terms of the writing. So everything is honestly kind of plug and play, right? So I've been working on this course for about a month now, but that's not really the point. I just got to thinking about as I was working on it, I was like, you know, I have this like obsession with, you know, if I come out with a course or something like that, I felt like you need to come away with something tangible, right? And you know, what's more tangible than an ebook, a, a digital product that you guys can sell, right? You know, cause for me, y'all know, I like to travel, I like to live life, you know what I'm saying? I like to sit in first class. And so I know that a lot of you guys like to travel as well. So why not provide something that you guys can take and create and sell on your own? So that's really not the point of this video the point is as i was like thinking back on like oh my god they have to come away with something tangible i gotta make sure that this is like it's like lit right i was thinking about it i was like oh because you know what i don't want people to you know leave my course feeling like they got scammed okay so let me tell <laughs> let me tell you guys about my true scam story all right i've been scammed a couple of times but this story sticks out to me the most right now and i don't know why you know how sometimes you just go back down memory lane and you start you get to thinking about something and then you get mad all over again that was me so let me take you back to i think it was maybe 2017 right so i had just filmed no it was like yeah it was like the end of 2017 I had just filmed a show that came out on Bravo. Well, it was coming out on Bravo, right? I had filmed it at the end of 2016. So I was working at this company. I, which you, listen, I can't go down the rabbit hole with that. But if you go back, I will, I will link this, the video in the description and tell you guys how I discovered that I was working in the, um, in, in the, in the, in the, I don't want to say the porn industry, but that's what I felt like I would, it was in. So anyway, I had just, I was, I was making ends meet because I was also trying to work for myself. Um, and the job that I was at while I was filming, they were, it was, they were doing some walkie stuff. So I ended up finding myself in, I think like a lot of debt, right? Now I had been following this Instagram page for a while, right? And the guy on the page talked about how he basically sold Instagram pages, right? Now, you know, it, for me, it was, it was like the repetition of it all. I mean, this is how he got me. So let me tell y'all something. If you are out there trying to sell a product or a service, let me tell you something. The best thing that, you, two best things you can do. One is actually have a legit product or service, right? Two, be consistent, right? Because let me tell y'all something. Scammers will be consistent. If you can't learn nothing else from a scammer, it is how to be consistent. If they only use their powers for good, you know? But anyway, let's go back. Let's go back down this rabbit hole with me, right? So I was like, okay, you know, and he talked about how this was before Instagram theme pages became really, really popular because what was happening at the time was there is a market where you can buy and sell Instagram pages, YouTube pages and whatnot. And I don't know if that is legal or not. I don't know the protocol behind it. But at the time, you know, I was in such a destitute financial situation that I was like, you know, willing to try anything. And this looked like it worked. I mean, this guy sold this business like nobody's business right little did i know now there's actually a service that you can use to actually purchase these pages like and it seems like it's legit i think it's legit i don't really know to be honest with you but i because i've never bought one well 
not a real one, okay? Because I'm about to tell you what happened. So I was like, you know, this guy is like, I mean, he's talking about all this money he's making from the pages and how much money you can make, which is definitely true. People who are into the Instagram theme pages, there is a ton of ways for you to make a lot of money doing those. I'm about to test that theory out myself because I see it all the time. I see people advertising it. But again, this was in 2017 before the big like, boom of how people are telling you how to legitimately do it now the people that's doing it now telling you how to do it i believe that for the most part they are telling you legitimate ways to make money or make bank by having instagram theme pages but again i go back this guy was like good man he was good never showed his face but he was always talking about you know posting how much he had earned from his sales and how easy it was this that and the third all you got to do is buy a page from him and he will get you set up and it was all gravy now again i'm following this page for months almost a year right and so he's posting his wins and all of this stuff like that so i'm like oh this is this is dope okay cool so I said, okay, fine. Let me let me reach out and let me see what's going on with this whole situation because I had come into like I gotten a lump sum of money and I was like, ooh, let me see what you know we could possibly do with one of these pages that he makes. And basically what he was saying was that you get these big pages, he sells you these big pages. It's like a jumping spider or, or something around here. I'm not taking that out of the video, but I gotta watch out for the spider. Anyway, so he's like, yes, you know, um, basically what we'll do is you can sell ads for the page and you can make a ton of money. Now, these things are true. They're 100% true. Okay, I just didn't know what was really going on. So then he's like, okay, so, what we'll do is, you know, you can send me the money for the page and I will, you know, whip up a page for you. We'll have one developed for you. It'll be all good. It'll be all gravy. Now, this is where my naivete comes in and my desperation comes in as well, because here's the thing. Ye shan't be desperate. OK, ye shan't be desperate. Remember that. Never do anything out of desperation because I did, all right? And because I did, I neglected to really look into this person. I, negle I neglected to do my due diligence. I was operating from a space of, I need to earn extra income. I'm out here in LA. I'm struggling at this point. The show hasn't come out yet. Like, I don't know what's going on. Well, you know, so financially, I was like in a situation. So desperate people sometimes do desperate things and that was one of those things that i was like oh my god like this could be the way out okay and i'm sure that's how most people end up getting scammed or probably did get scammed by this person so i remember i was like well how do i get you the payment he was like it'll be like eighteen hundred dollars or whatever and that's it but you could make about ten thousand ten thousand dollars per month doing this and i was like okay yes now again he is posting screenshots of payments and this that and the third and i'm like listen for the most part i feel like in my mind i'm so naive i'm kind of like well why would anybody lie about that right like I, I just don't think in those terms because in my mind i'm like okay you make you say you making it that's what you're making like i don't i, I don't think in in that way i just tend to because i don't operate from that space right you know what I'm saying? Like, so if you don't operate from that space, you don't know, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. Yes, you know, I'm about to get this page. So he's like, okay, so all I need for you to do is Western Union me the money. So this is where I should have began to realize that there was some scammerization going on. But again, me being desperate, having stars in my eyes, I'm thinking, yes, yes, yes. I'm about to hit a lick. This is about to be it. So I end up going to the Western Union place. Now, when I got there, something in my mind said, don't do this. I ain't gonna even hold y'all. Something in my mind said, don't do this. So I was like, uh, no, but I want this page. I wanna get this thing going. I wanna like get this thing rocking and rolling cause I could build, you know what I'm saying? So I said, all right, okay, cool. I Western Union, this person, the money.
and then crickets. Okay. Crickets. Crickets. Okay. So I was like, you know what? Let me try to reach out to him. And I'm reaching out for like weeks and upon weeks upon weeks upon weeks, trying to figure out how to get my money. So ultimately I end up having to report this person, but at the end of the day, they couldn't get me my money back because I had willingly given my money to someone, right? In exchange for something that I just didn't get. So it wasn't like I used my credit card. It wasn't like I used my Amex or something like that. I mean, at that point in time, I didn't even have an Amex. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, there's nothing really that I could do or, any, or any, anything that could be done legally. Now, I could have really tried to press it a lot further and go into like, you know, hiring a private eye or something like that. But honestly, it would have cost me more money than it did. Knowing what I know now, it would have cost me more and, and more time that I could have been using that time to make more money. So I was like out of my 2000, like $1,800, like nearly $2,000 and I got nothing for it. So I just want to let you guys know, like just, you know, do when, when it's time to, you know, make moves in your life, never do so from a place of desperation. Because when you do, you fail to really look at the landscape of what it is that you're doing and you begin to ignore the gut feelings, your intuition that really guides you. God gives you that to guide you, right? So I just wanted to leave you guys with that. And it's funny now that I look back on it, I can laugh about it now because I'm kind of like, I should have known better. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those types of things that is, is an L. But the way I look at my life and the way that I feel about my life is that even when I lose, I win, right? So I feel like God is always looking out for me in some way, shape or form. So I tend to take whatever losses I go through and I realize that God is only preparing me for something much bigger, right? That wasn't the thing. And sometimes I have to learn that lesson, but every time I learn it, I grow a step further into what I'm supposed to be doing, more money, more opportunities. So I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of encouragement for those of you guys that maybe have been scammed before, you know, honestly, utilize it as fuel to get better about doing your due diligence and research and stuff like that. Um, you know, and, and really make sure that you are working with people who really have your best interest at heart. You know what I'm saying? And so that's where I was coming from with that whole thought, because as I was going through the process of making this course, I realized that it was super important to me that it's transformational and it has value. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't just create something just for the sake of, oh, I put, I, you know, I, I created a product. No, it had to mean something to me and it had to be transformational because if I'm not helping you transform, then what's the purpose? You know what I'm saying? So that's really how this whole course process came about. And to be honest with you, it really came about on a whim. I was watching Love and Hip Hop, right? And I was thinking about Sierra Gates and how she has this Money Monsters University and she sells all of these digital products and stuff like that. And I was like, I think I was on my live one day when I was talking about Love and Hip Hop and I was like, you know what? I can help y'all make some money. I could help y'all create y'all own eBooks in a day. You know what I'm saying? At the time I was just talking cause I was like, yo, I know I could do that. I know I could do that. And then I just set the plan in motion. I did my first cohort. I said, you know what? I got this. Once I learned what I needed to learn in terms of, all right, what does the course need to be successful? After I went through that first initial cohort of teaching people, I said, oh, bet I got it. Right. And I just set about recording at that point. I set about, you know, coming up with the slides and, you know, coming up with the template. It's a done for you template. You know what I'm saying? The course is pretty much done with you. The writing is done with you. So I wanted something that was super special. You know what I mean? So anyway, as you guys move forward in your own journeys with creating your own digital products and services, I want you guys to think back on my true scam story. <laughs> and really come at your products or services from a place of people first, right? 
my product is focused on transforming people, helping them come away with a tangible product. This YouTube channel is about people, right? That's why I was making content even when I wasn't monetized, right? I was taking y'all on my travel journeys, which I will still do on this channel. But again, really, now that I'm thinking about it, cause I didn't really have a plan. I just sat out here and I said, I'm gonna make a video cause I wanna talk about this cause it was on my mind. I was like, ooh, and what lessons can y'all come away with as a result? And then I was like, you know what? I had one lesson in mind, but now I think about it really, it's about creating content for people. We don't create for the algorithm. We don't create for stats. We create because of the joy of creating. And then we also create so that we can help other people, right? That's what it's really all about. And I feel like that's how transformational experiences are birthed through having that type of energy and a people focus. So listen, if you guys are interested in the ebook in a day course, I will have the link in the description of this video. It, it, listen, I, I don't need to sell it to you because I feel like it's for those people who need it and God will p connect those people with the experience and they will come away with their, with their first ebook or, you know, their second or third ebook and they can utilize the templates that I'm providing as a way to generate revenue for their business or generate leads for their business. So all the selling, I don't really have to do it because, you know, I feel like God attracts the people that he needs to, that I need to, that I need to help. So that's how I kind of maneuver. And I want you guys to think about it in the same way. So I think you come away with it from that perspective and you got something really, really super amazing. If you guys need help creating your eBooks, definitely email me at bookings at djrichiesky.com and we can get you the help that, we, that you need, all right? So with that being said, listen, y'all, um, it has been a pleasure. Your boy has to go to the grocery store. And uh, I actually, I came out here to look at the pool too. And that thing is, is the leaves are all up in it. Like nobody said pool, nobody tells you a pool maintenance is like, I mean, it's a lot, okay? But anyway, you live and you learn. So that's my messages for y'all today. Welcome, thank you for listening to my TED talk. How about that? And um, my true scam story. If I think of any other scam stories, then I will definitely let you guys know. Um, I'm trying to do these videos to the point where they just come off, come up, like they come from the heart and I just give y'all the real and that's it. If you enjoy it, let me know. Definitely look out for more travel related content, more business related content. And remember y'all keep people at the forefront of your business and your business will thrive. I'll catch you in the next video.